So Trump just tweeted this. It was reported um, by the All Network. Um, and then and, and what's crazy is as soon as this was reported, now that network can't be found. Everybody's trying to go to the website. They're saying it's crash. They're talking about a media blackout. And what's so interesting to me about this, number one, obviously, you're going to have people who just don't believe it because they don't want to believe it. Now, remember all of the things that I've been prophesying and I've been saying. God showed me the other day when I was in front of that tree during my prayer walk that he was about to expose the deep roots of corruption. And he said that what was about to be exposed was going to look like something out of a movie. And a lot of people are not going to want to believe it. And then we begin to talk about the false prophet media. They're going to try to bury this thing. They're going to try to make it just seem like it's just no way possible. And I'm telling you, it's true. Here's the thing. It's kind of common sense, really. Michigan already had admitted that, yes, 6,000 votes had been changed from Trump to Biden. Michigan admitted that. And now all of the states that Trump is suing were using that same system. Why is it that if these people have already admitted out of their mouth that 6,000 votes were changed and they corrected it, what makes you think that this did not happen in other states? What makes you think that this didn't happen on a bigger level? The uh, ex-governor Blavojevich or whatever in Illinois said, this is something that's been going on all the time. And the prophecy that God gave me the other day was that what was about to be exposed was gonna look so crazy, it sounds like something out of movie and then the news station that actually reported it all of a sudden their website is down and, it, and it, uh, it's like a media blackout and so you're not going to see the media you're not going to see the news um really reporting this but i really believe that everything that we've been saying is about to come past i know people been mocking and they've been saying you know all oh, false prophet in this i believe this thing is going to go to the supreme court because that's going to be the only way because the media has already just crowned uh you know biden as president and even with that the media does ha doesn't have any power to do it it doesn't matter how big uh they 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 scream or they yell they don't have the power to crown that next president and so the fact of the matter remains that some of these states were still counting. I gave you guys the actual uh, correct scores the other day that uh, Trump is actually leading when he won Alaska because all of the other states, they gave it to Biden assuming that he won those states. But if you actually reported the facts without bias, Trump is actually leading right now. But the media doesn't want to do that because the media is a false prophet. And what they want to do is keep telling you Biden won. Biden won, Biden won. So that way, if things get overturned or overturned and they change it, people are going to riot and people are going to be mad because why? The Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They'll say, oh, Trump stole the election. They'll say, oh, he went to the Supreme Court and it's the people he nominated in the Supreme Court that are his buddies. And that's why they overturned it. And it's not true. Biden never won this thing. It was never a done deal, no matter how loud the media yells and shouts. So they're saying 2.7 million votes nationwide altered or deleted 221,000 Pennsylvania votes were changed 435,000 votes changed from Trump to Biden total now some people are just going to laugh and some people are going to mock why because they don't love the truth and the Bible says people who don't love the truth God is going to send them a strong delusion because they just don't want to believe that it is true but Michigan you can look it up it's not a conspiracy theory they already admitted that 6,000 votes were changed from Trump to Biden Biden and they fixed it and they corrected it and they caught it. Well, they need to go catch it and correct it in the other states as well, because I believe a hundred percent that this is true. And guess what? The person who uh, runs the Dominion system, who created it, Nancy Pelosi, one of her family members is involved in that company. So people can say whatever they want to say. They can keep talking crazy. The media is going to keep trying to make, you know, it look like, oh, we're a bunch of conspiracy uh, you know, people or whatever, but God showed me, he said, what I'm about to expose is going to sound like it's a movie. And a lot of people are just not going to want to believe it. They're not going to want to believe that there's that level of corruption. But think about this. Pride will do that kind of stuff. Lust for power will do that kind of stuff. These people's feelings were hurt that Trump won. They, they were laughing. They were mocking. They were saying there's no way that he can win. And guess what? Trump got, I think he got 10 more million votes than he got last time. So something's fishy. Some people would, would think like, oh, well, from the last time he ran as president, 
um, you know, he would have less votes. He actually had more votes uh, statistically with black men voting went up and even with the LGBTQ. So I'm telling you, something is fishy. And anybody who doesn't think there was corruption, especially as a child of God, you just don't have discernment, period. Anybody with any discernment knows there was corruption. Anybody who's believing the same media that's telling you a man is a she. The same ones, they're the same ones telling you quit, give up, throw in the towel. Man, y'all better wake up. Y'all better pay attention, man. This stuff is true. So what does this mean, saints? Now, let me tell you what you got to pray. You got to say, Lord, expose it. Let it come out. If it has to go to the courts, let it go to the courts. Let your will be done. Father, we know what people were prophesying. We know that a lot of people have been mocking. We know that a lot of people have been making fun. But here it is, Lord. The truth is coming out just like you said it was going to come out. Now, don't just let the truth come out. Let the truth prevail. Let the truth go wherever it needs to go to make the difference. And then if the end and then and then the end of the day, if the truth comes out and Biden still wins and somehow he cheated or something like that, and they don't want to admit it or whatever it is, then that was just what God's will was. But we're gonna pray right now, Lord. Let let this truth go to wherever it needs to go to make that difference. Let the truth begin to shift. Let it be exposed. Let all things that were done in the darkness just come to the surface. That's what we need to pray right now. Share this video. You guys know I'm banned on my other Facebook for 30 days. So I need your help getting this word out. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus.